We're still here with Kentucky State Representative John Sims Jr., the leading sponsor of House Bill 166 that if passed would allow patients with certain health conditions to use medical marijuana for pain relief. Talk to us too about the, uh, there's the big question about the actual uh, uh, smoking or the, the public smoking of, right. of cannabis and that's something, how would that play into uh, the yeah, bill? Yeah, and it's the same as it is today. There's no public smoking in House Bill 166 at all. It's against the law, it still will be against the law. Um, and now, it's some research that a 2013 poll said that 78% of Kentucky, Kentucky citizens would be in favor of the legalization of medical marijuana. Uh, does that surprise you at all? It, it, it did when I first, as I never had researched this before, until, and I believe that number's probably higher today. I know in my district it's, it's 76% in my district alone. Um, and I know that you've uh, obviously spent several weeks in committee with uh, uh, hearing from the public, uh, hearing from uh, researchers, different or organizations. Uh, talk about that process of just being able to take in uh, the knowledge from both sides on the, of the issue. Yeah, it's, it's a learned experience, you know. Uh, I know more of the pro side than the cons, but I got to listen to the con side, you know, from law enforcement and stuff like that uh, last week when it was in committee. Uh, and for people that uh, may not be up to speed on kind of the details of where we are so far with the status of the House Bill 166, bring us up to date. Well, it was in committee last week. Uh, instead of voting on it, I didn't have the votes in committee. I was two votes short. We ended up passing on it, which passing on the bill allowed it to still be going instead of voting and, and to be dead and we lose it in the committee. So we're working on that with uh, Representative Jason Nemus from Louisville and, and doing the changes in the bill to get more support. And I think we're there on that. Um, and what about the economic impact of uh, introducing this to our state of Kentucky and helping Kentucky potentially be at the forefront instead of uh, missing the boat? Right, and, and it, it will have an economic impact with with tax revenue generated and help locals lot as well as state. Uh, now, uh, there's been different opposition uh, again on the issue. Um, uh, even for the law enforcement officers about policing this. So uh, what are your thoughts on that? Right, I, you know, it's, it's, it's their job to say no, the drugs are bad and stuff like that, but it's, we have to realize, you know, 29 other states in District of Columbia are, are already doing this and, you know, they haven't gone back to do away with it. So it's working, it's not a big issue as they think it will be. And for your particular district, uh, uh, what's been the feedback in, in your hometown on this, uh, this particular issue? Yeah, it's been positive all the way around, you know, it's, it, it's, it's no, no pushback or anything really. And with the timeline, with the, uh, the session mm -hmm. coming down to the final few weeks, uh, uh, what do you see uh, potentially happening with the status? Well, we're working hard today to try to get it in committee tomorrow for a vote. Uh, don't know if that will go. You know, we're winding down here this, this week and next week, so that's it. I don't see it getting out of the full, the full you know, legislature this year, but if we can get it out of the committee, that'd be great. And a touch on that for people that may not be uh, up to speed on the process of uh, our, our legislator, uh, legislative process, uh, kind of talk us through the committee versus the, uh, the House sure. and the Senate and how the, yeah. the staff of the bill. Yeah, you, you file a bill and then it gets assigned to a certain committee and then the chairman uh, has the ability to call that bill up or let it die, as, as they say. So if he calls the, the, the bill up in committee, it gets heard in committee, uh, they get to ask questions on it and then they take a vote on it. If it, uh, if it gets enough votes to pass, it goes to the House floor. Sometimes it can be put on the consent calendar where it's not discussed, and other times it's, it's just in regular orders of the day, which a bill gets discussed on the floor and we take a vote on the floor. And then after it passes the, the House side, it's sent to the Senate. The Senate does the same thing, as, uh, uh, puts it in a committee, a hearing on it from the Senate members on that committee, and if it votes favorable, it goes to the Senate floor for a vote. Um, and talk about the impact of, of this medical marijuana conversation that's happening in Washington. Um, how does that play into kind of what we're doing here in the state of Kentucky having a conversation? You know, uh, Senator Paul endorses it. Uh, uh, Congressman Massey endorses it. You know, I have letters from them just last week on it, trying to get a push for it. Uh, so it's 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 a process. Now you have had uh, a lot of uh, public committees uh, here for people to be able to attend. Uh, the impact of having town halls mm -hmm. across the state, do you think that's something that it, it is? It's, it's building momentum. You know, Louisville has a resolution supporting it. Lexington has a resolution. Uh, back home in, in Maysville, the uh, physical court in the city both have resolutions they've done. It, it's, it's gained steam as we speak. 
Now, in the event that uh, this House Bill 166 does not pass, uh, what will be the next steps uh, on your end with uh, moving forward? We just have to reach out to uh, you know more more constituents, more legislatures, and you know get educated about it, and then bring it back up next year. And has it been interesting for yourself? We kind of touched on it earlier, but the education process mm -hmm. of just you know there's a, uh, naturally a stigma to most people of, mm -hmm. of the word marijuana, the use of it. But uh, has it been an interesting education process? It, it has. You know, in, in our bill, there's nine ways to in ingest the product that that you need. It's not just smoking it. Thanks to Representative John Sims Jr. for discussing House Bill 166 with us. Sims was confident that he could garner more votes in the House the next time this bill was brought up for discussion. And that involves changing the minds of some of his colleagues. State Representative Mike Nemus spoke with Spectrum News this week about what changed his mind when talking about the legalization of medical marijuana here in Kentucky. Marijuana in the medical form and the recreational form was not something I thought about much growing up. I never used any illegal drugs and so I was opposed to any uh, legalization. I still am strongly opposed to legalization for recreational. But after I met with a number of constituents, um, I started to think maybe medical had, had a use, a legitimate use. So I met with a number of constituents. I called doctors, called the Kentucky Medical Association, the nurses, a bunch of nurses. Um, read a, a number of studies and I'm of the belief that I think uh, that we can have marijuana for qualifying medical condition. Uh, things like glaucoma, significant um, chronic long-term pain, um, things like M, um, MS, mm -hmm. uh, things of that, of that nature. And there's there were some things in the bill that were mobility impairments and things of that nature. We're, we're going to take those out. Fibromyalgia, mm -hmm. I think, is probably going to be taken out. Um, but we're wanting to m make it very limited. Um, if it needs to broaden in the future, if the if the science goes that way, then that's something we can consider. But right now, um, I am not there, and I know the majority of my colleagues are not there. There's also a provision in the bill that allows for each person uh, with a qualifying medical condition to have 12 adult plants mm -hmm. and 12 seedlings, and we thought that was far too many. Um, so we're reducing that substantially. Some are arguing arguing that we should get rid of that altogether and that folks should have to go to a, uh, a dispensary to get the product. Um, that's something we're talking about. But um, the, the gist of the, of, the, of the effort is to make sure that if we have medical, which we have the majority votes in the House of Representatives, I'm convinced, mm -hmm. to go with the medical route. But if we have that, we have to have the right vehicle, the right bill, to make sure that we're holding the line and not, you know, wink, wink, nod, nod, getting toward recreational. And I, I, I'm str I strongly believe we have the votes in the House of Representatives to support medical marijuana, or what I like to call medi uh, marijuana for qualifying medical conditions, mm -hmm. uh, because marijuana is not a medicine, but it can help people with qualifying medical conditions. I strongly think we have the votes, but we have to hold the line, because we do not have the votes, and Kentuckians, I don't think, will support um, going toward recreational use.